It was in M37 when the Adeptus Astartes, the noble space marines of the Imperium of Man, embarked on a perilous journey into the hellish realm of the Eye of Terror, situated in the Segmentum Obscurus, taking the fight to the forces of chaos. This formidable campaign was known as the Abyssal Crusade. The crusade was initiated by the decree of the corrupted Imperial Saint Basilius, who condemned 30 Space Marine chapters as impure. These chapters were sentenced to a penitent crusade, tasked with cleansing the tainted worlds within the Eye of Terror, which had been claimed by the Dark God of Chaos, Slanesh. For many years, these brave warriors waged a relentless war against the forces of chaos across more than 400 worlds. This arduous campaign came at a terrible cost. Countless Astartes fell in battle or succumbed to the insidious lure of chaos. In the wake of the Abyssal Crusade, the Imperium faced a dire new threat. The survivors, now twisted into chaos space marines, launched an escalating wave of raids into Imperial space, further darkening an already grim era. In the aftermath of the Ecclesiarchal Purges, in year 321 of Millennium 37, Saint Basilius the Elder rose to a position of great influence within the Imperial cult. His leadership gave rise to the Puritas divisions, composed of several Space Marine chapters known for their rigorous vigilance. These chapters were unrelenting. Whenever a mutant or chaos was discovered, execution swiftly followed, without regard for age, gender or social status. In an unusual alliance, the Ecclesiarchy, the Inquisition and the Adeptus Astartes coordinated efforts across the Segmentum Solar. It became a civic duty for citizens to report any suspicion of chaos corruption. This policy further eroded the few remaining civil liberties of the Imperial populace and led to numerous false accusations. Nevertheless, the measure proved effective. Instances of rebellion and insurrection against the Emperor dwindled to nearly nothing, underscoring the harsh but effective nature of Basilius's reforms. This fleeting period of peace was abruptly shattered by the eruption of an intense warp storm, engulfing over a dozen star systems. The storm's malignant echoes spread throughout the galaxy's spiral arms, wreaking havoc in the Empyrean. Overnight, reports of mutations and chaos cultist activities skyrocketed. The warp storm's influence was not limited to civilians. Many space marine chapters stationed on affected worlds faced a grim revelation. The latent flaws in their gene seed were exacerbated, manifesting in disturbing physical and psychological mutations among their new recruits. Alarmed by these developments, Saint Basilius demanded that all Adeptus Astartes chapters impacted by the warp storm submit to his judgement. His authority was so substantial that the High Lords of Terror decreed compliance within a standard year. After extensive tests and divinations, most chapters were cleared, but no fewer than 30 were deemed tainted. These chapters, later known as the Judged, chose to embark on a redemptive Imperial Crusade. Among them, the most militant demanded the right to cleanse their perceived impurities through battle, viewing it as a noble end to their unfortunate plight. To the astonishment of his advisers, Saint Basilius accepted their proposal, directing them to the Eye of Terror. This formidable task aimed to confront the demon worlds and chaos space marines within, a test of faith and purity. An emergency council of dismay was convened, where representatives of the doomed chapters debated their course. Convinced that Amata's death was preferable to living under suspicion, 
they consented to Basilius's directive. In the final days of year 321, in Millennium 37, a solemn convoy of strike cruisers and battle barges traversed the Cadian Gate into the Eye of Terror. With their relay systems deactivated and heraldic colours masked by black magplates, they ventured into the iridescent nebula surrounding the Eye. One by one, the vessels of the judged slipped beyond the reach of Cadian astropaths disappearing into the ominous depths of the eye, never to be seen again. Scarcely an hour after the fleet of the judged entered the Eye of Terror, they were ambushed by a war fleet of twisted battlecraft, each vessel covered with the malevolent sigils of chaos. The engagement was swift and brutal. Torpedoes tore open hulls, and lance fire sliced through the ether striking the colossal ships of the Imperial fleet with deadly precision. The ferocity of the battle shattered any semblance of cohesion among the judged. As the chaos of the conflict grew, so did the disturbance in the warp, causing the very fabric of reality to tear. In the midst of this maelstrom, the Chaos War Fleet abruptly retreated, leaving the Imperial ships scattered to the farthest reaches of the eye. Each ship's journey thereafter became a horrifying tale of sorrow and loss, for within the Eye of Terror, one can expect nothing but grievous misfortune and despair. The adepts of the Administratum outright denied any connection between the disappearance of the Judged and the subsequent rise in the Chaos Space Marine raids emerging from the Eye of Terror. Yet, nearly 800 years after the Abyssal Crusade began, a handful of the Judge chapters emerged from the warp, having purged over 400 worlds within the Eye. The returned Astartes could barely restrain their anger when they were immediately detained and subjected to a rigorous test by agents of the Inquisition, seeking any hint of chaos corruption. As they passed each test, a chilling truth surfaced. Saint Basilius was still alive, the testimony of Convac Lan, chapter master of the Vorpal Swords, exposed Basilius as a false prophet, a servant of the Dark Gods who had condemned the innocent to damnation. Enraged by this notion, the Vorpal Swords led the surviving chapters in an assault on Basilius' stronghold. There, they uncovered the truth of his existence. The so-called Saint was an agent of chaos. The Inquisition acted swiftly. Within less than a year, every shrine and spelcher dedicated to Basilius was obliterated. His remains, along with countless relics, doctrinal texts, and thousands of followers were placed aboard a derelict bulk freighter and launched directly into a nearby star, erasing all trace of his heresy. Despite these efforts, the full extent of his corruption and the reach of his influence is unlikely to ever be completely revealed.